Pakistan's tourist attractions. With some of the most diverse natural beauty on the planet, Pakistan's High Commissioner says it's no wonder that Forbes ranked his country one of the ten coolest places to go. Pakistan is a kaleidoscope of some of the most diverse natural beauty in the world. It's a cradle of ancient civilizations and a melting pot of religions and cultures. The World Economic Forum placed Pakistan among the top 25% of global destinations for its UNESCO World Heritage Sites. From the stretches of great mountain ranges in the north to the vast alluvial delta of the Indus River in the south, Pakistan remains a land blessed with nature's beauty and majestic mountains. With shining deserts and some of the world's highest peaks, the country has myriad attractions for sightseers, skiers, trekkers and mountaineers. For those interested in white water rafting, trout fishing, jeep, camel and yak safaris and out of this world flora and fauna, Pakistan is the place to be. It's a land that holds a reservoir of knowledge for archaeologists, historians, artists, teachers and anthropologists, and it contains contains deep religious heritage for pilgrims of various faiths and beliefs. These attributes mean that the tourism sector in Pakistan has started to register exponential and speedy growth. From less than half a million foreign tourist arrivals in 2015, the World Tourism Monitoring Agencies recorded over 2 million tourist arrivals during 2019. Domestic tourism crossed the 40 million mark last year. Last year. World view of tourism potential in Pakistan. Pakistan is ranked no. One on Condé Nast Traveler's list of 20 best holiday destinations for 2020. Lonely Planet called Pakistan tourism's next big thing. Forbes ranked Pakistan as one of the 10 coolest places to go in 2019. The British Backpacker Society BBS, declared Pakistan as the world's third best potential adventure destination for 2020. The year before, the BBS declared that Pakistan tops the list of world's best travel destinations, describing it as one of the friendliest countries on earth. A land of splendor. The landscape stretches remarkably from the high mountain ranges in the north to the plains and deserts of central Pakistan and the Arabian Sea in the south. In addition to the natural beauty in the four provinces of Pakistan, the people are very hospitable and generous toward foreign tourists. Five of the world's highest mountain peaks. Pakistan's mountain ranges include the famous Himalayas, Karakoram and the Hindukush. There are several high peaks in Pakistan, with the tallest being K2 at 8,611 meters, the second highest in the world. The country is blessed with five out of the 14 highest mountain peaks of the world. From April to September, domestic and international mountaineers from the area. Highest trade route in the world. The 806 km Karakoram Highway constructed along the ancient Silk Road linking Pakistan to Chennai is the highest trade route in the world. Additionally, the nearby Mintaka Pass lies along the fabulous ancient Silk Road road that linked Europe to Asia and over which history's most famous tourists once traveled. These include the Venetian trader Marco Polo in the 13th century, the wild Marco Polo sheep was named after him, the Chinese monk Fei Heen in the 4th century, and Arab historian Al-Biruni in the 11th century.
Punjab Mughal era monuments and Gandhara Buddhist civilization. The Punjab province comprises rich agricultural lands, an extensive network of rivers and channels, shrines, ancient forts and gardens from the Mughal era. Over 2000 years ago, the world famous Gandhara Buddhist civilization flourished in northern Pakistan, with Taxila as the principal seat of Buddhist learning. Balochistan mountain ranges and caves. The Balochistan province is the largest in the country in terms of area. Besides being blessed with nature's bounty of mineral resources, it also has immense natural beauty comprising mountain ranges, mines and a very long coastal belt, including the newly developed Quadra port. In Balochistan there are many caves for tourists to visit, including the Juniper Shaft Cave, Shara E. Rogan, the Mogagal Gara Cave, Mughal Saa Cave, and Pakistan's naturally decorated cave, the Mangosha Cave. Sindh Monjadaro, Karachi, Arabian Sea. In the south, the province of Sindh also abounds in natural beauty. It is most famous as home to the ancient city Mohenjo Daro, Indus Valley Civilization, the commercial hub city of Karachi, plus its seaports and beautiful beaches, spread over hundreds of miles of coastline. Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, Kahan and Swat Valleys. Again, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa is well known for its varying natural beauty, comprising some more inspiring valleys and mountains in the north, including the Kahan and Swat Valleys, and the famous Khyber Pass. Northern areas, Gilgit, Punza, Skardu, spread over 72,496 square kilometer, the northern areas of Pakistan are as captivating and mesmerizing in beauty as the other regions. Amid towering snow-clad peaks, several over 8,000 meters, the beautiful serene valleys of Gilgit, Punza and Skardu are magnificent. 40 skiers from 13 countries including Greece, Turkey, Ukraine, Hong Kong, the UK and Belgium participated in the International Skiing Cup in Pakistan in February 2019 at Nalta, Gilgit Baltistan. The cultural patterns in this region are as varied and interesting as its topography. Vegetation and fauna. Pakistan is also rich in vegetation and fauna. With their alpine meadows and permanent snow line, coniferous forests down the sub-mountain scrub, the vast Indus plain merging into the Great Desert, the coastline and wetlands, the Himalayas. Karakoram and the Hindukush ranges all offer a remarkably rich variety of vegetation and wildlife including avifauna, both endemic and migratory. Ten of eighteen mammalian orders are represented in Pakistan with species ranging from the world's smallest surviving mammal, the Mediterranean pygmy shrew, to the largest mammal ever known, the blue whale. Indus Valley Civilization Through the centuries, waves of invaders and migrants settled down in the land that is now Pakistan, influencing the locals and slowly being absorbed among them. Modern Pakistanis are a blend of Harappan, Indo-Aryan, Indo-Iranian, Saka, Parthian, Kushan, White Hun, Afghan, Arab, Turkic and Mughal heritages. Thus, the region encompassing modern-day Pakistan is home to the oldest Asian civilization and one of the oldest in the world after Mesopotamia and Egypt, the Indus Valley Civilization, 2500-1500 BC. Religious tourism. Pakistan is a land of love and hospitality. A land of spiritual endowment, it is also the resting place of many spiritual saints from all religions, be it the Sufi mystics of Islam, the Hindu tirifs dating back to 3000 BC, the disciples of Buddha attaining Nirvana, buried under the remains of Gandhara civilization, or Baba Gur.
Guru Nanak Ji. The founder of the Sikh religion who was born in 1469 AD at Nankana Sahib, about 72 kilometers north of Lahore. Pakistan has always wholeheartedly worked to preserve its historical sites, whether it's a church, gurdwara, temple, mosque, museum, tomb, fort or shrine. Pakistan's Buddhist heritage. Born in the foothills of the Himalayas, Buddhism found avid followers, supporters and patrons in Gandhara, the land of fragrance. Pakistan became the custodian of rich collections of sacred relics and superb specimens of art and architecture from Buddhist civilization. For example, the Buddhist ruins of Taxila are priceless treasures of immense interest to Buddhists and researchers around the world. Taxila became a center of excellence when the first ever university was founded there in the 10th century BC. Pakistan's Christian heritage. Thomas the Apostle came to present-day Taxila in the 1st century AD. Pakistan has historical churches in various locations, and these religious buildings symbolize the spirit of a community and the cultural context of centuries. Our Lady of Fatima Church, Islamabad, Christ Church, Kotri, St. Paul's Church, Rawal Pindi, Cathedral of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, Lahore, Street. Patrick's Cathedral, Karachi, Holy Rosary Church, Quetta, St. Mary's Cathedral Church, Malton, and St. Luke's Church, Abbottabad are just of the few churches in Pakistan well worth visiting. Pakistan's Sikh heritage. Sikhism was founded by Guru Nanak, who was born in Nankana Sahib, Pakistan. Since Punjab was the center of activities for Sikh gurus, and later the political power base of the Sikhs, there are numerous sites in Pakistan that are sacred to the Sikh community. Thousands of pilgrims visit these places from all over the globe. Among the sacred shrines is Gurdwara Daba Sahib, Kartapur, near Lahore. Pakistan's government opened the Kartapur corridor to allow visa-free access to Sikh pilgrims from India. In 2019, the government renovated and expanded Kartapur corridor to celebrate the 550th birth anniversary of Baba Guru Nanak, and it has thus emerged as a center of interfaith harmony and a symbol of goodwill of the people of Pakistan for the Sikh community. Gurdwara Panya Sahib, Hassan Abdal, Gurdwara Choa Sahib, Rotas, Gurdwara Bhai Jogar Singh, Peshawar, Gurdwara Sadhu Bella, Sukha, and Gurdwara Dera Sahib, Lahore are just a few of the many Gurdwaras that are visited by thousands of Sikhs from around the world each year. The Gurdwara has become the center of the annual pilgrimage by Sikh communities the world over. All Gurdwaras and Sikh shrines in Pakistan have been declared sacred places and are meticulously maintained by our government. Pakistan International Airlines PIA offers special pilgrimage tours, and Pakistani embassies and consulates abroad issue expeditious pilgrimage visas for that purpose. Saints, Sufis, and shrines. Pakistan is a land of saints and Sufis who preached amity, peace and universal love. Their teachings promoted religious coexistence, communal harmony and tolerance in society, which is why there has always been communal harmony in Pakistan. This provides further opportunities for religious tourism in the country. History reveals that various Sufi saints have bestowed Pakistan with messages of adoration and peace to promote Islamic virtues. Pakistanis consider the country to be blessed as the resting place of saints in the shrines of Data Ganj Baksh Hivari, Lahore, Hus 
Hazrat Abdullah Shah Ghazi, Karachi, Hazrat Lal Shabazz Calendar, Sewan Sharif, Sakal Samist, Kerpur, and Hazrat Bahauddin Zakaria, Multan. Pakistan's High Commission assess it's no wonder that four brains